Hi everyone, Blake Jones here, and in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the function for exporting Resolve timelines. This is an extremely useful way of exporting a timeline from the system as a very small file, and then when it comes in, it automatically links to your source material. So what we're going to do here is, as you can see in this particular um, desktop, I've got a lot of different clips here. Then I'm going to come to my file pull down menu and then select export timeline. And now, as you can see, you can give it whatever name you'd like there. And then let's put it uh, timeline 1C, for example, something like that. And then we select save. Okay, now that's done. Now what I'm going to do is quit resolve so we can see exactly how this works. And I'm going to... Now I'm restarting resolve again. Okay, so after restarting resolve once again, I go into my untitled project. And then all I have to do here is, without importing anything in the media pool, as you can see the media pool at this point is empty. Everything's not gone, so what I'm going to do here next, I'm going to come over to File, select Import, and then select Timeline. And now we look for it and we'll say this is the DaVinci Resolve Timeline file .drt. We select the 1C, select Open. And now as you can see, it automatically loaded the media that's associated with it. And I'm all set to go. And then I can come over to the color page and work here like so. So it's a great way of moving project information around between systems. So for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And for more training information, have a look in the comments below. And also think about subscribing to my Patreon channel. There's a lot of great perks that you have there. So have a great day. Thanks a lot.